Google Ads shared budgets can help advertisers manage their average daily budget for a group of campaigns at a single time. This can be easier than having to worry about an average daily budget for each of your individual campaigns. So in this video, we're going to show you why you may want to use Google Ads share budgets, how you can create them in both the Google Ads interface as well as the editor platform, and then we will look at a few deeper examples of how shared budgets can actually be useful. Before we go into Google Ads and we actually walk through how to set up shared budgets within the account, I want to talk about the three main reasons why you may want to use shared budgets. The first reason is that it can save you some time. If you have several campaigns within the account, no matter what campaign type it is, you're probably going within the account and checking each of the daily budgets fairly frequently just to make sure you're not either over or underspending. The more campaigns you have in the account, the more time it'll take to check each one of those. With shared budgets, you are grouping certain campaigns together. And when we hop into Google Ads, you will see you can pick which campaigns you want to share a budget. The more campaigns that you have sharing the same budget, the less time it'll take to actually adjust your daily budgets. The second reason you may want to use a shared budget is that it can make sure you're actually using all of the budget that could be allotted to a certain campaign goal. I'll show you a deeper example later on within this demo. It is very common for campaigns within your account to not use all of the daily spend that you have set up for your campaign settings. If you're taking those specific campaigns and grouping them with other campaigns that are limited by budget, then you're making it easier for yourself to take that available ad spend and shift it where it actually could be needed. And a third reason why you may want to use shared budgets is that you can group particular campaigns based on a similar theme or goal. I'll run through a pretty specific example of what I mean by this later on within the demo too. So now we have a few reasons of why we may want to use shared budgets. Let's hop into Google Ads and we'll show you how easy it is to set up shared budgets within your account. First, we are going to start off in the main Google Ads desktop interface. And to find shared budgets, we need to go up to our tools and settings, head over to the shared library column, and then go down to shared budgets. Next step is pretty straightforward. We need to click on new shared budget, and then we have to name our budget. Drop down a little bit, and then enter the average amount you want to spend each day. Now we say average daily budget, because the amount that you type in that you think is going to be spent per day might not always be spent, or it actually may spend more. Google's going to look at your average daily spend as well as your average monthly spend, and then come up with what they call a daily spending limit. So Google may actually spend twice as much as your daily budget, but they're going to average it out through the month. I don't want to get too much into the averages in the spending limit. Just know that it is out there and your daily budget isn't always going to be exactly what you have put in place. But next, we're going to want to add our campaigns, which funny enough, it is an optional step. So you can proactively come in here and create some shared budgets if you know you're going to use them in the future and you don't have to add any campaigns to them. But of course, we're going to show you how to do that. Now, we do know we have everything paused in our demo account, but I named this share budget search. So let's say I wanted to add my search campaigns to this shared budget. I'm skipping this one on purpose. We're going to get back to it. The first thing I want to call out when you're selecting your campaigns is that Google actually has a helpful daily budget column. So when you're grouping your selected campaigns together, you can either add it up yourself on the side or look at the total existing budget on the bottom here. Those three campaigns that I have selected and have moved over to the right hand side, their separate daily budgets total up to $21. And then I can go back up here and look at the amount that I initially added. Maybe you want to keep the average daily budget the same. So I can either change that to $21 or understand that these three campaigns are important to me and I'm okay increasing the budget a little bit. It's just a way for you to double check and verify that you're setting the right shared budgets between your campaign groupings. This account only has 18 campaigns in it, but if you do have a massive account, you see there is a search feature right here that you can look for specific campaigns. It makes it a lot easier to find exactly which campaigns you're looking for, but as you can see, we cannot sort by labels or anything, so it's a lot easier if you have very specific naming conventions for your campaigns. But let me X out of this one, and then I'm going to go and save it. Now, if you look at the number campaigns column, you see that it is two instead of the three that I brought over. That is because one of the campaigns that I tried to add was part of an experiment. And shared budgets do not work with campaigns that are part of an experiment. And then for whatever reason, if you're running a hotel campaign with the commission bid strategy, you're not going to be able to use shared budgets for that campaign either. But remember when I was searching for those campaigns, I purposely skipped one. It's easy enough for me to go right to the campaign name, click edit, search for that campaign, and then add it to the shared budget. But if we head back to the main overview, you can click on that specific campaign name and then head on over to the campaign settings, then find the budget section. If you click on the apply from shared library box, 
it'll pull up the shared budget options that you have within the account. Right now we only have the one option. There we see the name search. I can click on that. And instead of the $10 daily budget that this campaign had, now it's gonna be part of the search shared budget. If I save it, now that campaign is updated. So I'm gonna go back to my shared library. And there we see the campaign number is back up to three. Let's say for whatever reason you have tried a shared budget and you just don't wanna do it anymore. You may think that you can just go over and click on the shared budget box, go over to edit, and then click remove. Yes, I'm sure I wanna remove it, but I can't. That is because you cannot remove a shared budget if there are any campaigns attached to that shared budget. So what we're gonna to have to do is click OK and accept it, head back into our campaign view, and then we're gonna to have to manually go into each campaign and remove the shared budget. So I just did it for one, and then we're gonna quickly jump back into the shared budget section. I have all of those search campaigns changed back to regular daily budgets. You can see in the numbers campaign column right here that I don't have any more campaigns attached to this shared budget. So now I can go back and select the option again, edit, remove it, and now I can remove this shared budget. It's gone. We're back to none within the account. That is where we can find shared budgets within the Google Ads interface. But if you really don't like working within the main interface and you prefer Google Ads Editor, I'll show you how you can find shared budgets there. I'm not going to spend a ton of time in this view because the setup is pretty much the same. It just looks a little bit different in Editor. So in Editor, we have our campaigns up here. And then below your campaigns is the Manage section. Here we can see our shared library. And you may need to scroll down a little bit depending on how zoomed in you are, but you will find shared budgets there. Under the filter bar, there you can add a shared budget. Still have to type in a name, still have to enter in a budget, and now I have that shared budget set. So it's easy enough for me to then close this out. I'm gonna click on the campaign level, highlight the three campaigns that I know are eligible, and then change my budget when I'm editing the selected campaigns. They all have the same custom budget, so that's why it doesn't vary. I can select a shared budget that is already created, there's a search option that I just recreated with an editor, or editor makes it really easy to create a new shared budget and automatically apply it to the campaigns that I have selected. So it saves me a step. I did not have to go to the shared library first. And then if I click on the shared budget again, I click OK. I still have those three campaigns highlighted. Now you see that they're all part of the same shared budget. And even though I'm not going to do it, you're going to have to go up and post those changes live. So now we showed you how easy it is to create shared budgets within the Google Ads interface as well as Google Ads Editor. Now let's talk about a few different scenarios of when shared budgets may be an ideal route to go. In the intro, the second reason why I said you may want to use a shared budget is if you have a group of campaigns that have the same initiative or goal. So in this example, what you see right here, I created a shared budget for Halloween. Halloween is seasonal. If you're doing any sales or campaigns with Halloween, it's probably a limited run. And you may want to dedicate a certain amount of your marketing budget towards pushing your Halloween items a certain time out of the year. We run into this a lot where we will have to create specific campaigns for those specific sales. If we know we can only spend, let's say, $1,000 per day on these Halloween campaigns within Google Ads, it's a lot easier for me to group them all together. This will also make sure that the spend dedicated just for these Halloween campaigns will stay within these campaigns. And one thing I didn't really talk about earlier, because in my previous examples, I was using just search campaigns, but you can see here that you can group different campaign types together. So I have a YouTube, a search, and a display campaign type that can be lumped within the same shared budget. So I can go down and apply the budget, and now I have a dedicated shared budget for my seasonal Halloween campaign, and all of my Halloween-specific campaigns are within the same budget. Now you may be thinking, okay, Joe, but my display on my YouTube typically doesn't perform as well as my search. It doesn't have the same ROI. That's fine. You can always remove certain campaigns or this may not be the best strategy for you. Just hopefully you're understanding why this could be helpful when you're looking at common themes or potentially limited runs. Now, another scenario when you may want to use shared budgets is to help spread the budget. Even though I have to blur out most of the campaign names, you see that they are tests. Now I have the date range set to the last seven days, and we can see that second campaign, the one that's lower, has a budget of $70 a day, but it's definitely not spending $70 a day. Just due to what I am targeting, it just doesn't have the reach where I need a $70 a day budget. Not only that, but that second campaign isn't performing as well as the one above it. So yes, I easily could just take some of the budget and just move it up to the top, but if I wanna be more efficient, and potentially I know my test budgets have to stay within the same numbers, but it also makes sense to create a shared budget just for my display test campaigns. 
I can keep it at $220 a day to make sure that the amount is the same, but whatever that second campaign isn't using, Google will give it to the test that has more volume and is performing better. And then I don't really have to worry about checking on the daily budgets all the time because I know I'm keeping it within the same number. There's definitely a lot of factors involved of whether you want to use shared budgets or not. Depending on how much time you have to manage the account, definitely the size of the account, and what sort of campaigns you are running and the goals of those campaigns. I have no problem admitting that shared budgets aren't going to be for everybody, and they may not be useful for you, but at least know that they're an option and hopefully you have a better idea of when you may want to use them within your own accounts. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.